All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem and HaKadosh. Double honors to the elders and apostles, chiefly of Great Millstone, who rule well, who brought us 100% truth, having been gifted it, in grace from the Holy Spirit, who have been diligent and strong, faithful and true, in pushing this word out until <laughs> bums like me can, uh, can, can uh, until it clicked, man. You know, I've been so patient. So, Thawada, Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Thawada, elders and apostles of GMS, and um, um, peace and blessings to all the Akim out there who be like um, doing the same thing, man, pushing this word. Um, regardless of whether people call you crazy, but you got your fringes on, you go out, you do your business, you come home. Um, peace to all the Stoics, man. Peace to all the. <laughs> Two of us, uh, lonely, lonely dudes. Except we ain't lonely, man. That's the funny thing. You see, a, you see a stoic. You see someone who's working with uh, Yahweh Shai, uh, Yahweh, and the Holy Spirit, and they're cool. You know, they be out there alone, but they're not lonely. Uh, and talking about walking this path alone. Oh. I was looking for the Lord is my shepherd. There we go. Psalms 23 and 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You know? And it's also said by David in the scriptures that you know he's, he's lived to a very long time, but he's never seen the righteous begging bread. And that's, that's to be in want, that's to be in need. So he said, I, I, the Lord is my shepherd, I don't need. You know? And that it's the same thing, like the sheep. as a sheep, right? He, the sheep, the 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 sheep go out and they just follow the shepherd. The shepherd knows where the where the the sheep can rest, where they'll be safe, where they where they can feed, where they can drink water. You know, we're going to get into that water bit as well. He maketh me down to lie in green pastures. You know, so following the Lord, he he get you to a place of of rest. And uh, and of what's it called? Nurture, where you can eat, where you can rest, where you can sort of build yourself. He leads me beside the still waters. So um, beside the still waters, you know. So you know they still say still waters run deep, but still like there ain't nothing dangerous. You can go and drink there, you know. So he he leads us to all these places, you know. And it was also in the scriptures, the the water is the spirit as well. So, you know, he's leading can lead you to a place where, you know, to be beside the spirit, if you like. I mean, that's a stretch of an interpretation, but I'm just bringing out what's coming to me. He restoreth my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yep. So he ain't he ain't he ain't leading. He's not doing it because of uh oh. Because we Israel, I mean, we have we have been great, great, but we have also done, you know, the most heinous things. He ain't doing it because, oh yeah, these people are something special. He's doing it because he promised Isaac, Abraham, and Jacob. That's why he's doing it. He ain't doing it. He's doing it so for his own name's sake, so that people can't say, oh, the Lord don't go, don't went back on his word. He ain't doing it. He ain't doing it because we anything special. Because I mean, we are creating special things for him, but. That's not why he's doing it, because by all mights we, we by all rights we we are we deserve to be destroyed, you know. And the great accuser, Amalek, who's stolen our our heritage, you know, it's, uh, it's works day and night. You know, it says in uh, in Hebrews, you know, that 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 um, Esau despised his birthright, and although he saw it carefully in the tears, Amalek works day and night to try and get that birthright back by destroying. Jake, destroy trying to destroy him phys, um, trying to destroy destroy him spiritually, while trying Amalek's trying his best to keep all of the law, statutes, and commandments so that the Lord might show favor in him. But that's not going to happen, Amalek. So you need to give up. And besides, the spirit wasn't given to you, and you, so you're never going to get the thing, uh, the the correct interpretation. You'd be like, 
you're like Jade Fox in the <laughs> Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. You ain't going to get it. You, the scriptures are in front of you, but you can't read them because the spirit hasn't been given to you. And we can't interpret them right. Saying that um, you should not eat a, a child in its mother's, uh, a, the child of a, of an ox in its mother, that's still in its mother's milk, does not mean to boil. Uh, nobody boils meat in milk that I know of. Nobody saying boils meat in milk. To be still in your mother's milk to means to be still um, breastfeeding. So you don't need to order yourself a separate kitchen and keep the whole meat and dairy from different uh, on different sides and not cook. That's that's just goes to show how wrong and how far you are from the scriptures. And the reason why you're far is not because we're especially intelligent. It's because the scriptures weren't meant for you. That's the seal. That's the seal that was talked about in Revelation. Uh, I don't know if it's Revelation chapter 17 or something, but Revelation where the Lamb was brought first and it opened the seal. And the, book, the, the, the opening of the seal was that was um, the Lamb coming back to give the interpretation back to Judah who, who had gone away from, who had been separated due, due to our own misconduct. who had been separated from the Lord, from the Heavenly Father, and had no way of finding back... Uh, Back the tradition of the Adamites, the uh, the tradition of the Hebrews, the the laws that were passed down to um, to Moses after the the Adamites were you know pretty much wiped out. He ain't gonna get it, you know. It even says in the scriptures, you know, like I, I don't know before the, you know, if you can if you can count the stars in heaven, then will I what then will I forsake my my inheritance, you know? If you can, you know. I don't know, count the sand on the sea or something like that. Some scripture says, gives you some rhetorical question where the answer is no. You know, <laughs> news flash. Spoiler alert. Before you try to figure it out. You know, but before the sun um, stops its shine, and then, you know, some people actually estimate, uh, 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 sort of like guessing that, you know, Amalek is even trying to stop the sun from shining, it's just so you know, by throwing up the aluminium dust in the air or whatever, just so that he can get that screen, he can get his inheritance back. It's not going to happen, Amalek. Anyway, let's carry on. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for His name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the, sh the valley of the shadow of death, you know, the shadow of death, you know, the, meaning the where where death is all around. You see death all around in the valley of the shadow of death. You know, it could be interpreted as Ezekiel chapter 37 it talks about the bones in the valley. Everywhere, you know, everywhere you look is death, everywhere you look is sin, everywhere you look is is, is ways of destruction. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. You know, and that's um, again Revelation. Where it says, um, this is the patience and faith of the saints. Um, where it says, um, he that kills the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and faith of the saints. Because the rod and the staff, the rod and the staff is, is what the shepherd takes to beat back all the, all the, all the, um, what's the word? All the wolves, let's say that. Again, it says in the scriptures, Behold, I send you as doves into the midst of wolves. So we're walking, we're walking around with a bunch of people that's trying to do us, either mash us up, try and get us into all sorts of uh, spiritual malpractice, sexual malpractice, drug abuse, um, get us accustomed to violence, getting us accustomed to abusing women, getting us accustomed, all this sort of madness that, that's surrounded us and that's in our culture. We're in, we're in wolf territory, like we're like lambs. I say, I send you as lambs into the midst of wolves. We're we're like lambs in the midst of wolves, man. But the rod and the staff. When when the the rod, like we know that um, when the when the kingdom comes, we you know the, the Israelites will rule with an iron rod. That means that rod is that was punishment. So why is the rod and the staff comforting to the Israelite sheep that are being led by Yahweh Shai, by, um, uh, by the Holy Spirit in the name of Yahweh Shai, in the name of Yahweh? Because he's beating them back. 
Here's the patience and faith of the saints when we see the 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 righteous go down. When the you know when the righteous are in authority, the people mourn. But when the righteous perish, pardon the um, butchering, the people rejoice. When we see the the punishment, the reward of the wicked, I'm going to get that in a second. When we see the reward of the wicked, that's a comfort to us. That's that, that's what gives us patience and faith. Pursuant to the revelation. That prepares a table for me in the presence of my enemies. That prepares a table for me in the presence of my enemies. You know, the table um, of the Apostle Taha, I remember from one of his things, said that the table and uh, and preparing a table is, is accustomed to the scriptures, uh, understanding the scriptures. But, um, you know, on a very basic level, on my basic level, just means that while everybody around you is plotting to do you... To, to do you something, you're there chilling and you're eating. You're living like life of a stoic, everybody thinks that you'll be miserable. You're the most comfort comfortable and peaceful that you've ever been. That's all I can say for myself. Right now. Right now, I'm I'm the I'm very, very happy. One sec. That anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth all over. You know, and obviously again, you can say that the the cup is the um. You know, as as your knowledge of the scriptures, that it's the Holy Spirit. Yeah, you know, um, pursuant to the idea of uh, the virgins that kept their lamps trimmed with oil, you know, um. And the, the anointing of your of the your head with oil, just you know, just given that it's what you, well, it's what one of the things that they used to do for, uh, you know, kings. In fact, I think if you look at the coronation of King Charles or King or Queen Elizabeth, you see that they have this point where they give them oil. So it's like you're being treated like a king, even though you know we're. We don't deserve it. Then our cup runneth over, meaning that we have more than we need, you know. And it says that um, oh, I think it's in Luke, around Luke twenty-one or something. No, not Luke twenty-one, Luke twelve, something like that, where it says that even Solomon wasn't arrayed as fine as the. Uh, it wasn't arrayed as finely as as the lilies of the field. Like the the Lord has looked after the lilies of the field, and um, so He looks after His elect, even you know. He looks after his elect. Let's carry on. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life when I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I don't know if there's anything more I can add to that. It's just a beautiful, very beautiful, comforting um, scripture. So for those who are walking through the, going through this path alone, who's living, living life of a stoic, stay strong, enjoy yourself, relax, man, let the Lord lead you. Shalom.